Okay, I'm at 5 Braden Street, and this is the home of Brian Quinn. And we're running an alarm test on Brian's grinder pump. And his cover is right down there, and um, we very carefully measured the water that we put into his tub. And we have put in 35 gallons plus, probably about 37 gallons. Did you turn it on? Nope. Well, go ahead. Flip the, flip the switch. We put in 37 gallons. Uh, with the with the uh, circuit breaker off, so that the, uh, the, the grind pump would fill up. The power's on now. Yep. Oh, this is a pretty quiet. Yeah, it is. It is quiet now. I can I can hear it. Yep. But it's not easy to hear. Part of it is because it's buried with all this mulch. Right. Uh, but the other part is. It's very quiet. The 16-year pump, yeah. and it passed your inspection, and it is still very quiet. It's not a noisy pump at all. A lot of pumps that were this old were replaced. Yeah. Now, the pump is running, but here's the deal. There's no alarm, and this water in there is definitely over the alarm level. So this is a failure uh, of his alarm. And um, so we just came out here basically just to confirm that this uh, is a failure. And while we were out here, we noticed that um, there is moisture in his generator box, for example. Uh, we ran the test using the circuit breaker uh, uh, on his uh, house panel, so we didn't go into this box. We're not going to go into that. Um, but um, it's 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 possible that that this unit is still wired in here uh, because we know that these uh, battery bypass units, when they get old and when there's moisture in them and they're corroded. We know that they can prevent the alarm function from working. So we don't know exactly really what's going on here, except that we just know that the, uh, the alarm's not working. And so uh, Brian's going to report this. And um, fortunately, uh, Brian has detected this problem uh, before his pump actually had a, had a breakdown. So this is going to be something that's going to be repaired without being a catastrophe. But while I'm here, I notice uh, kind of a, a, a problem with Brian's gr the grating. He's got a lot of uh, this bark mulch. And you can see that it is, it's really covering this pump. Now the overflow on this pump is right here. And, and if this pump were to fail, and in this particular case it were to fail, there would not be an alarm, that the water level would eventually rise up to here. And the reason for that is because Brian has no plumbing fixtures in his basement at all. And, and this water would eventually, it would start pooling up right here, but you can tell from the way this uh, is graded that it has nowhere to go. This is actually, it looks as though Maybe 16 years ago, the, the, the level might have been lo lower, and this pump might have been higher above the, the ground. But probably due to landscaping, this level has been raised up. And this, in this case, if this overflowed, uh, this dry, the dry well here, the access way, would definitely fill up with water. And you don't want that. So what you want to do is to pull this grating back so, so that this path here has a downward slope. Uh, to a lower spot, which in this case would be over that wall. It looks like it's actually going to be pretty close yeah. to being with that, but but that's really the only hope in this case because the uh, the land doesn't fall away in any other direction. Yeah. So anyway, uh, so that's it for for this location. Uh, talk to you later. Bye.